It's an exciting time to be a registered music therapist because we're learning so much about what happens in the brain when we listen to or play with music right now. And neuros neuroscience is showing us that the same multiple domains that are critical to mental health are also engaged in music processing. So that includes muscle control and movement, brain chemistry, memory, emotion, and a range of cognitive processes such as planning, spatial awareness. So to put it really simply, music allows us the possibility of working with both the problems that someone like Connie might experience and also the positive processes that are required for ongoing mental health. When working with someone like Connie who lives with a severe mental illness, she's become increasingly isolated and experiencing thoughts of suicide, it's extremely important to understand that while music has great potential, it can also be used in a negative way. So for example, sometimes music can be used as a way of isolating from others and even to accompany self-harm behaviour. So that's why a training and experience in healthy and safe uses of music is critical to achieving positive outcomes when you're working with vulnerable people. A considered and evidence-based approach in music therapy can reduce anxiety and depression, shift negative thought patterns to more positive ones, increase self-esteem, self-efficacy, build confidence and independence in using music as a health resource, and this happens through those healthy music relationships and interactions that are experienced in music therapy sessions. So registered music therapists have advanced theoretical and practical skills combined with a very broad understanding of music which is informed by research in neuroscience, developmental psychology and even evolutionary theory. So in addition to music therapy theory and practical music skills, the training also entails many hours of clinical placements working alongside other registered music therapists and healthcare professionals in a variety of health, education and community settings. The university training and the skills plus the many hours of clinical experience they need to be demonstrated in order to be registered with the Australian Music Therapy Association. So it's really important to insist that if you're going to work with a music therapist that you work with a registered music therapist.